Oh my God, I don't believe it. Tracy Love! I know. It's the most exciting new arrival for 2,000 years. Thank you. Oh, Tracy. 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 Tracy, let me take these. <laughs> what are you doing now? I've been released! <laughs> They're freeing murderers for Christmas. The dodgy legal system that saw me wrongly incarcerated for three long years has finally been exposed. So has your conviction been overturned? The biggest miscarriage of justice since Nelson Flaming Mandela, that's what my lawyer said. I heard about the tram first on the news. I had no idea if you or Amy... I was even worried about you. It was pretty bad. All that devastation, destruction, needless suffering... And you came out unscathed. You nasty. Can't you manage five minutes without upsetting somebody? Just ignore her. Oh. Come on, let's get you inside. Oh. <laughs> what do you need for that? Oh. Are you sure it'll cook through? Mum, there's no point sticking me on ham watch if you haven't got any faith. I've got every faith in you. It says, reduce heat to a murmur in the book. A murmur, not boil to within an inch of its yeah, life. I just don't want Nick carving into the middle of it and finding it raw. Nick? Who's, who said anything about Nick? Well, whoever. All right, so I do all the donkey work then. Stay up all night, monitoring the brine levels, adding spices, and he just swans in with his sabatier. Well, you can carve if you want. I was just thinking... Favourite son shall carve. That's what you were thinking. I love all my kids the same. Oh, oh sorry, ma'am. Just on my way. I don't think you should, actually. There's someone out there you don't want to see. Who? Oh. <laughs> Steady on, ma'am. I know you're pleased to see me. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Are you uh, here home for good? Oh, fingers crossed. Look, I'll explain everything once you've cracked open some at Fizzy. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> I can't believe it. I couldn't have wished for a better Christmas present. Yeah, well, speaking of which, I'm not exactly laden with goodies. I literally just got out and uh, all the shops were shut. Who cares? You're home, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome home. Hiya. What's this? I thought you were on the wagon. He is. What, you're legless? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, not for long. Couple of weeks, I'll be out of this thing. Hey, nurse. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Welcome home. Peter, you don't mind us drinking in front of you? No, no, it's fine. I'm cool. Good. Because I was going to say tough. Oh, I can't believe it. You were crippled alky. Are you having one, nurse? No, I'm fine, thanks. And you married a Battersby. That'll cause a stir in the old gene pool. Anyway, I was saying, uh... Ashley died, and I would have died too if Nick Tilsley hadn't saved me. How long were you under the rubble for? Well, it's more than an hour. He was in intensive care for days. That is awful. Anyway, back to me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm bursting to know. Has some new evidence come to light? The forensic guy from my trial has turned out to be well dodgy. He falsified qualifications. Right. So, basically, there's a big fat question mark over every single trial he ever did. I've appealed my conviction and I'm out on bail pending a retrial. So you haven't exactly been... What's the word? Exonerated, no. The whole thing has been a flaming travesty. I should never have been sent down. But your solicitor is confident that you won't have to go back inside. Why else do you think I'm here today? You'll be dying to see Amy, won't you? Oh, you know, I can't wait. Mm, I'm surprised you didn't pop in and see her on your way home. Well, I just thought it would be a really nice surprise for her on Christmas Day. Anyway, she'll be in bed now. 
I don't suppose Becky and Steve would be too pleased if you went round there. Does anyone fancy a pint? They can't have Frida. It's not possible. Well, she's out. Large as life and twice as master. She did done another stunt. It's probably bright someone she got any lance. Oh, she was on about miscarriage of justice, aren't we? Well. Free and Tracy Barlow's the biggest miscarriage of justice I've ever heard of. You see, problem is people like that, they know how to work the system. I mean, even if she managed to wangle an early release, I'm I'm amazed she'd show her face round here after what she did. But where else can she go? I mean, this is where her home is. Her daughter's over there. Mm. Well, she'll be pleading with her governor and Norcross to let her back in when I get my answer. Oh, back. now, sweetheart, come on. I know it's upsetting, but don't let it ruin your whole Christmas. How can I not when that evil little cow's across the flaming street? Yeah, she's right, Gran, but we can't just sit back and do nothing. Well, I think we have to, sorry. But what if the jury had believed her lies? I'd have gone to prison for life. I'd be spending my first Christmas in there now. I have another thing. I bet it just drags it all back up again, man. Joe's death! All right, all right, sweetheart. I don't get upset in yourself. I'm gonna go round there. Oh, no. I'm gonna have it out with her. Gail, no. She thinks she can ruin my Christmas. I'll ruin hers. She just got out of a taxi. Yeah, right, she's back for good. Well, she's probably lying. Why would she lie? Well, if they just let her out for a couple of days. What for? Good behaviour, I doubt <laughs> it. Well, you read about it all the time in the paper, don't you? Murderers and pedos being given Christmas with her relatives. Well, I think she's back for good. Well, even if she was, she's not going to show her face around here, is she? She wants to see Amy. Never mentioned her outside. Clearly not interested. She'll come. You'll see. After three years inside, Tracy's going to be more interested in getting drunk than seeing her daughter. OK, then. You're right. Mm. Yeah, I suppose she ain't gonna want to do any of the actual, like, hands-on mothering, is she? I mean, that's not her style, right? But besides, you know, she's hardly gonna come round on Christmas Eve, is she? All comes blazing. Yeah. Can I have a word? In private. It's about our daughter. Well, in that case, it concerns Becky, too. A public slanging match in my bar. I'm not here for a slanging match. Now, are you sure? Because I'm happy to have one. I'm here to see my daughter. She's in bed. If we want the parrot to speak, we'll chuck it an almond. I said I wanted to speak to you in private. Uh, listen, Becky has been like a mother to Amy while you've been inside. Yeah, like a mother. Now the actual mother is back. Becky's services are no longer required. You are being unreasonable. We're a family. No, Steve. Me and you are her family. Mum, Dad, Liz. Flesh and blood. She's just your latest squeeze. Oh, and your standards have dropped, by the way. Becky is my wife. Oh. Third or fourth, is it? I forget. The words, till death us do part, weren't written with Steve in mind. Well, death certainly parted you and your last squeeze. I'm very handy with a blunt object when riled, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You have just got out of prison. You should be celebrating. By visiting my only daughter on Christmas Eve. Look, I'm sorry if this is inconvenient, but you can't just airbrush me out of the picture. <laughs> all right, so that's what all this is about. You making your presence felt. It's five minutes with my little girl, that is all I'm asking for. Yeah, well, we'd rather you did it tomorrow. This will be a bit of a shock for Amy, and we'd like to prepare her. Poison a mind more like. No, we wouldn't do that. You have no idea what she says about me behind your back. Right, listen to me. This is not about Amy, this is about you coming in our house and throwing your weight about. I've told you to stay out I've of I've told you, you can go and... I can't sleep. Come on, eh? Yeah. Angel. I've come home. Do you know that special hotel Mummy was staying in? Not class prison? Yeah. Well, I didn't want to stay there anymore. I wanted to come home and be with you. But the horrible people that run it, they wouldn't let me go. So you know what I did? I wrote to Father Christmas. No way. He came to see me. He said he was coming to see you tonight. And would I like a ride on his sleigh? <laughs> you should hear the stuff she's saying in there. It is enough to make you hurl. Yeah, well, whatever we think, she is still Amy's mother. You know what? I think I've got that message now, no, Steve. No, what I mean is, if she's back for good, then we've all got to get along, haven't we, for Amy's sake? Yes, and we haven't set off to a right good start, have we, Amy, watching us all having a row? 
think this will achieve? I'm going to do to her what she did to Charlie. <sighs> yeah, and I'll help. You'll do no such thing. Ah. You've uh, heard, then. Bad news travels fast. Bad news for you, maybe, but not for her family. Not for a little girl. Step aside, Deirdre. My quarrel's not with you. Oh, Gail, it's Christmas. Can't we just bury the hatchet? Move on. You have to let me see her. She's not here. I put her back to bed. I hope that's OK. Of course it is. Her little face. Oh, she was so excited. Hopefully, seeing her ogre for a mother without any prior warning hasn't done her any lasting damage. We're just trying to handle things sensitively. That's all. This isn't easy for any of us. I know. And I'm prepared to be reasonable. Good. Well, it's only right that she should be here on Christmas morning. I'll come and get her about ten. Uh, 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 get her. She'll be having a Christmas dinner with me. Uh, uh, we've made plans. Make new ones. Hey, after the year we've had, we just want to sit down and have Christmas dinner as a family. The year you've had? What about the year I've had? This will be the first Christmas dinner in three years that I won't be eating with plastic cutlery. The year you've had. You can't just come in here and oh. start calling the shots. It's not fair. She's having Christmas dinner with us. Don't worry, Steve. She'll be eating her Christmas dinner in hospital. Gail, hi. Heard you were out. So, who you been sleeping with now? Well, I, I take it it was sexual favours? Bribery? Blackmail? Your usual stock in trade? My conviction is no longer safe. It's the public who are no longer safe. With a lying, evil little bitch like you roaming the streets. Oh, no, no, we, we, we don't want any trouble in here. Speak for yourself. I was going to come and see you, actually, Gail, because there's things you don't know. I know you're a nasty piece of work, I'll say and do anything. Under a hell of a lot of pressure. Oh, come on, Gail. Mum, Mum, she's not worth it. You know the worst bit? You do it all with a big grin on your face. You don't give a second thought to the people you hurt, the pain and misery you cause. No, Gail, listen. The cops leaned on me. They threatened to have time added to my sentence if I didn't help send you down. You know what they're I like. I know what you're like. And I knew if I ever got a chance to confront you, you'd have some ridiculous story, anything to get out of the firing line. It's the God's honest truth, Gail. I promise you. Liar! Ugh, stop being such a drama queen, will you? You got off, didn't you? You only spent a few weeks inside. I was innocent! Ooh, well, so you say, but I reckon your story had more holes in it than Joe's boat. Come on, that fun's over. Yeah, get up. She attacked me! You provoked her. Oh, I get it. Any trouble around here must be my fault. Yeah. You've only been in the house a couple of hours and already you've started a brawl. I'm furious! Well, you can understand her being upset. Not Gail. I'm not bothered about Gail. It's Becky that gets up my nose. I mean, who does she think she is? Ma'am, I went round there and I was determined to be reasonable. Fat lot of good it did me. I mean, why should I have to tiptoe around her? Amy is my daughter. I'm her mother, her real mother. And I will do whatever I have to to get her back. 